Hello, how are you all doing today? I hope you are uh, having a fantastic day as I am. Uh, in this opportunity, I am going to reply to a request regarding uh, wax carving. Carving. Uh, first of all, I am I am pretty slow when it comes to doing this, for the simple fact that I really put my energy. You have to understand that we're giving our energy to one little piece of material. So take your time. I it's it's normal if you feel you're lost. I, it happens to me a lot, especially when I'm starting to give shape and form to my desired uh, uh, sketch. So you will feel lost, it is okay. You will feel uh, that you don't know where to go at some, at some point. And normally what I do, I stop, take a break and do something else and then you will come back to it. Uh, something else that I consider is that the reason why I do it slow it's because I'm giving it all my all I'm giving it my all all my energy my thoughts I really connect to that piece of material and I think about how my customers will feel as they wear it so take your time don't rush it same as uh, soldering as we have uh, as I already have explained to you, take your time. Don't think about, I need to do so many pieces because I need to make as much money. It is not about the money. It is about enjoying the process of what we are creating. So uh, in this opportunity, I will, I do have a very sweet uh, project. I want to make a pendant of my beloved Toby, which was my dog. Uh, he lasted for about 12 years. We missed him so much. We kids miss them, of course. He was such a great addition to our family. Uh, so I want to do that. He was a miniature schnauzer, and I want to make a pendant uh, for him of him. Uh, also a piece that I'm sure my children will want to wear as well, and also for the uh, schnauzer miniature schnauzer lovers. So, I do have a picture of him, that's what I have in mind, but the picture is pretty blurry. So what I will suggest in a, in a situation like that, you go online and oh, let, just let me give you an example. Let's say a car, you have this specific car in mind, but you wanna know the different angles so it can be really truthful to the, the, the shape of what it, the characteristics of it. So pretty much the same with, with my dear Toby, I want, uh, he was really not a miniature. He happened to be bigger, like about 26 pound miniature schnauzer, but you love them. You love them when, when, when they're around for who they are and not if they're too big or too small. So I will highly suggest finding three dimensional images. Uh, I used to clip him. I used to trim his hair. So I really have a good idea of his body parts or what he looked like. These images are super important. Uh, that's Toby, that's his personal characteristics. Uh, but schnauzers have general characteristics, which is why they are uh, known for. So we have the images. Next thing we're gonna do, we have to trace it uh, on a piece of wax, uh, of course, on a flat piece of wax. So I usually, I like matte. I like the uh, dark green color because it's pretty, it's a very hard material. Easily, easily will get damaged with a tool or uh, even when I'm doing very, very small work, uh, the tiny little work, it will stay better to me than the bendable. Now, if you are having, starting your project, your project from a base, your your base you want to do a harder uh, wax when you are working into the details the finished details then you can move to a softer piece of wax 
Um, now, I will be honest to say that I made a mistake because uh, I pretty much have gotten to this part where he's like, you can see the shape that's Toby. But then I want to make a pendant. So if I will bring it as a pendant, I'm thinking about this piece of wax in silver. It's going to be way, way too heavy and very, very expensive in a way that I will not even be able to. To, to sell it for somebody who wants to have a miniature schnauzer as a pendant as well. So I will just show you my uh, my materials and then I will kind of, I'm gonna go back to that little mistake that I made. So uh, we have the wax, green wax. It comes in different shapes and I will show you one in here. I already used some of it. So that is the shape. It comes in different diameters as well, different sizes, comes in pretty much any, any size that you will need for any desired project. Okay, so after the images, you are going to come up with your own unique drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my drawing of Toby. And that's my boy. So I came up with it. Uh, I did find a picture. I can't find it right now, but also if you notice in here, the first tryout, he's kind of facing down. And on the picture, I normally, and when I think of my baby, I actually think of him looking straight out. So, uh, so I change it and I'm like, eh, eh, we need to, I really want to be hundred percent happy. I don't, if you start something, if you start a project and in the middle, you just, something just doesn't go right. You know, I just ditched it as soon as possible. And I start all over it. I don't even think about it twice because this is what really matters. So I'm, I traced him and this is what i used what i'm gonna do next is that i want to transfer this sketch and this little sketch into my piece of wax so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna glue it okay so i glue it you don't need much you don't need to over over glue over apply you just like a fine uh, a fine thin layer but even is all we need and I also finish it up or not finish it up after I've applied the glue I'm gonna come with a little brush and make sure that it's a it's an even layer and then you glue your drawing and you kind of squeeze all if there's any glue any glue pockets or air pockets you squeeze them out to make sure it's really really there once you're done with that you let it dry and please make sure you let it dry now i'm going to show you the tool that i use for tracing it and what it is it's a fine point tool you can use a needle uh, you can use any other tool that you prefer. I do like this one because of the handle. And this is actually, uh, it's a wolf, wolf tool. This is a lady who is up north and she does amazing work. I actually have the opportunity to go into one of her workshops and I learned so much from her. She's very knowledgeable, very experienced, and she enjoys teaching and sharing the love of art. So it is dry. Now we're gonna go uh, on the, very important, we're gonna make little, we're gonna go dot by dot or press by press following our line. But it's super important for you to stay slightly outside of your lines and not on the, on the line or inside the line. Please make sure you stay slightly out to give yourself a little bit of room in case you need it. Once we're done tracing him, we peel it off and we're gonna go over the lines with our this is a, a a peel off white sharpie pencil sorry i'm a little shaky right now okay so you're gonna go on the line pretty much i i don't i don't find a use for me of going inside with our or not just stay over your lines Okay, so it's gonna look funky. And then you're gonna erase it, just erase it. Okay, kind of get rid of all that. 
and what you see left should be let's see should be white lines white i'm sorry not white lines white dots now um, I will bring it inside or that's what I do you bring it to your tool you can you can go around and just use your tools for that okay so we are there we have this part and this is what it should look like when it's done there's little Toby sweet boy now the mistake that I made with this is that like I already said, if it's a piece, if it's a pendant, it's just too heavy. So um, what I should have done, which I will also do, maybe I will start later today. And of course, I'll I'll take a video for you. I'm gonna cut two small pieces. Two. Maybe I will come in the middle here and then cut it again. So I have two, two small pieces of wax. And if I have a thinner piece of, of wax, of wax, which I believe I do, I will use that instead. But as all together, I should come about about that is like about half an inch. So um, you are going to use the tricky piece, the tricky material, which is double-sided tape. So if we have two pieces, you're gonna file one side of each really good make sure that there's a perfect fit in the two pieces and we're going to stick them together with double-sided tape now we're going to leave the tape there we're going to stick the pieces and we're going to finish our desired pendant to the detail once it's done we break it we open them up remove the tape and we're going to carve and make both pieces hollow once you're done hollowing your piece, you close it up and with a heating tool, you're gonna bring them back together with wax and then you're gonna kind of clean it up a little bit. And no worries, I will be working on this project very soon, hopefully later today. I will show you the details, I will show you the process. And once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, I, this is something I never done before. Um, I don't find myself very photogenic, but hey, I really wanted to take the time. I really wanna share what I know. So I really appreciate you watching. I hope you all enjoy your day. Go out, have fun, do a little bit of work, do a little bit of something to bring joy to your hearts. Bye-bye, till next time.